Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. Today's video is a what's for dinner, where I share you, share you, where I share with you what our family ate for dinner this past week. If you're new to the channel, I do hope that you will consider subscribing to be a part of our YouTube family. We would love to have you. As mentioned, it's a what's for dinner video. I'm about to start the first meal of the week. I will say you're probably not gonna see a meal for every single day. In fact, 100% you will not see a meal for every single day unless I show you leftovers. We are busy during the week. Um, don't mind my chilling at home on a Saturday gear here. It would be nice if the camera would focus though. I am wearing my comfy hoodie and watching some Law and & Order and remembered that I have to get the crock pot started if we wanna eat this afternoon. Um, we are busy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday nights. We are out of the house. Monday, all four of us, my husband, myself, and our two children are out of the house. Tuesday nights, myself and my daughter are out of the house for activities, and then Wednesday, I am out of the house. So it's a very, um, it's hard to cook those nights. So I will typically do crock pot meals for the first portion of the week, and then Wednesdays, um, Will and the kids eat frozen pizza, which they love. So we used to do that every Friday. If you've been around a while, you know that. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I have, we are growing, butterflies we have caterpillars and they are starting to they are turning into their chrysalis and I just looked over and one of them was just like swinging wildly one of them fell off the lid so I hope it is okay that has nothing to do with dinner um so we are just busy those few days Will and the kids eat pizza and stuff on Wednesdays since I'm gone and yeah so that's that I will leave any recipe links down below today is Saturday I am making mentioned a crock pot meal I will often do that on the weekends too so that we can just have I don't spend a ton of time in the kitchen on weekends we can just enjoy our weekends we are a homeschool family uh, my husband works full-time usually 60 to 70 hours a week today's recipe is a where's my phone it's called I was supposed to cook it last week and it just our meal plan went out the window I am making a crock pot cowboy stew from 100krecipes.com, Texas Cowboy Stew. So I will make sure to leave that link down below. The only thing I changed, I'm trying to think. Um, I am going to put some frozen kale in if I have room because I have some in the freezer and that wasn't in the original recipe. But I've got all the ingredients out. I'm gonna flip this around and just, I'm just it's a dump and go. I cooked two pounds of ground beef already. I may have only called for one pound of that or maybe no, I don't know, I'd have to check the original. I went through and modified a little bit based on what we had on hand. And we like our soups and stews very meaty. It also calls for um, kielbasa. I think it called for two packages of kielbasa and I changed it to two pounds of ground beef and one kielbasa. Um, it's got a can of corn, two cans of pinto beans, a large 28 ounce can of Rotel, um, and then a large 28 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes and I got the ones with garlic, basil, and oregano, the Italian style. One diced onion, four potatoes, I'm hoping this is all gonna fit in here. Four cups of chicken broth and then garlic, which I just use, I have the lid off already, so I have to be careful, the diced garlic from Costco. So I'm gonna get this going. All right, I actually, as I was looking at this, I was like, that was way too much ground beef. I don't know, we just really like ground beef, but I don't think it was all gonna fit. So I took about a pound out. It's already cooked. I can use it in another recipe later this week, or we can make, like I can add some taco seasoning or whatnot. I am going to drain over here where you can't see the can of corn. I will rinse the beans in a moment. Um, so there's your corn, tomatoes, rotel. This is a lot of tomatoes. I don't think everything's gonna fit, y'all. Oh, definitely not for uh, potatoes. I must have really modified the recipe. I don't know. So follow the recipe. I was like, that's not going to make it off. Because maybe I think that's what I did. Is I was like, we need enough for leftovers. Because um, we do. <laughs> and so I think I modified some of the, um, the sizes of cans. So maybe it wasn't even that many tomatoes either. And of course, I'm not going to look at the recipe right now because I'm doing this. So I'm not rinsing the pinto beans, but I am draining them just so we don't have a ton of the bean liquid. If it were black beans or uh, like kidney beans, typically those I will rinse. 
on top of just draining. Alright. Throw in the broth and some garlic. And then there's spices too. I forget which spices I need to get. I actually do need to look at the recipe on my phone. I'm gonna leave, that's probably about three cups. I'm gonna wait and see how everything fits. Maybe what this really means is that I need a bigger crock pot. I have had this crock pot for, gosh, over 12, 13 years. It's just a Hamilton Beach. I need to chop an onion and the sausage and potatoes. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll combine everything. be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you Okay, my crack pot is pretty full, and I just remembered, I think it has a bag of frozen mixed veggies. So ground beef, kielbasa, garlic I still have to add, onion I put in, two cans of diced tomatoes, which two 14 ounce, I did one 28 ounce, four potatoes, I only put two potatoes in because it's getting full, um, one can of corn, two cans of rotel, or one large can, one package of frozen mixed vegetables. Yes, yes it does, and then two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, salt and pepper to taste. I'm running out of room, y'all. I think the original recipe also had it being cooked in a large pot or um, like Dutch oven sort of thing, um, stock pot. So that might also be where the issue is coming in. I'm gonna make these veggies fit. I'm gonna do it. And it's just gonna be, where am I saying this? A very, um, full crock pot. Let me tell you, it made leftovers. <laughs> Don't follow my example. It's basically what I'm telling you. Um, adding a little bit more broth. I am not going to be able to stir this to add seasonings. Wait till you see this monstrosity. Do you see this? It's full. We are going to have food for probably, um, four days, three to four days, including like if I eat it for lunch. So I still need to get some seasonings in here. Um, so modify the recipe as you see fit, basically. And just, I mean, it's gonna be delicious. It looks delicious. It's just very full. So we'll see how that turns out later. Along with dinner, I am also going to make this, uh, the Essential Baking Company Take and Bake Sourdough Bread. I got this from Thrive Market. It is delicious. I actually ordered a few loaves the last time I was on there. So it is sealed, um, no preservatives, but it stays fresh for a while. And you just pop it in the oven, 425 for like 12 minutes. And it's really, really yummy. So that'll go along with the soup. Hi friends, it is currently Monday and I'm just gonna put together another quick crock pot soup of sorts. Um, the other day when I made that cowboy stew or whatever. I had this pound of ground beef that I didn't end up using. So that's going to go in here to add a little bit more protein. And it's already cooked, so that's nice and convenient. We've got one can of corn, one can of black beans. This is all like, it won't take long to like, basically you're just heating it up. So you don't necessarily even have to do it in a crock pot. I just like to use the crock pot so that I can, um, can of carrots. Apparently I have two cans of cannellini beans and one can of northern beans. What was I saying? You don't have to use a crock pot. You can just throw it all into like a, a pot on the stove and it won't take very long to heat through. But I like to have it in the crock pot so that we can kind of eat whenever we want. 
throughout the evening if we want a little bit more or whatnot. Plus it's just, I don't have to keep an eye on it. So that was three cans of white beans of some variety. One 28 ounce can of Rotel. One small jar of salsa. So it's kind of like a Mexican chili of sorts. And then, let me stir this and then I'll figure out how much broth I want to put in. Probably four cups, which is one of the large containers. Um, I got this recipe idea from Christine at Frugal Fit Mom. And I'll leave the video link below where she made it. She doesn't have like a, this like written down or anything. I just watched it in a video. And I was like, that'll be quick and easy dump and go. And I believe she did it on the stove top. And her recipe called for two cups of broth. So let's start with about that, which is half of a container. And I'm using this uh, chicken sipping bone broth from Costco. I love it. It just has good flavor. It's great for just sipping, um, which is why I like it. Because there are times, especially as the weather gets cold, sometimes in the morning I'm not really wanting coffee. Surprise, surprise, I know. And I will just sip on bone broth. I am actually gonna thin this out a bit more. What, the bone broth? No, this, yeah, I sip on the bone broth. Mm -hmm. I'm making another like bean and salsa soup with veggies. The bone broth is pretty good. Yeah, even Alice likes the bone broth. I just heat it up in the microwave and just add salt. Um, we'll leave that like that, I think. And then I'm gonna throw in some salt. And some garlic, which I forgot to get out of the fridge, so hold on. I am just using the minced garlic. I get the big container from Costco. And we like garlic, so I'm gonna do two big spoonfuls. Stir that up again. I will taste for seasoning once it's fully warmed through. Like I could taste it now, everything's cooked, but I prefer not to taste it cold. Let's let all the flavors kind of meld together. I might add a little bit of cumin. Um, you could possibly add like a packet of taco seasoning or taco you know, spices, but I will test for that later. So we're just going to put this on um, high for about four hours just to warm it through and it's currently 118 so that'll be right about dinner time when we eat all right friends this is dinner for tonight you saw me make it this morning um i did add onion powder a little bit of cumin and a little bit of chili powder to it and then for myself i also put in some cholula hot sauce in my serving so we're gonna sit down and eat and we will see you on the next recipe day because tomorrow's just leftovers so nothing hey friends it is thursday jack is helping me to get dinner in the crock pot I'm getting it in a bit late because I have a migraine that will not go away. It started in the middle of the night and I just feel miserable. So I'm just doing some like potatoes, peppers, onions, um, and ham in the crock pot with some chicken broth probably. And so nothing fancy. I'll add whatever seasonings. Oh, Let me see. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, ch we'll cut that part off. It's okay. Um, so again, just some cubed ham. Just two onions. Off. You wiped it off. Okay, that's fine too. I don't know if it was actually mold or if it was just Ooh, a. White yeah. Like mold. So we're gonna just get all this and some broth and I don't know what seasonings. I'll get back. I can't even think straight because my head is just pounding. So let's get this in the crock pot, huh? Yep. Learning some knife skills. Be very careful. Slide in. It's just so cool that like the stem just like. Out. Yep. He thinks it's cool to pull out the like, rib cage. The rib cage of the. That's what he calls it. This one had three. Yep. So there's actually. Oh, my head just started pounding again. Hold on. Oh, it comes in waves. Um, I don't remember which is which, but there are female and male peppers. Female, like I think female has three and male has four. Oh. Or something. I don't remember exactly. I'd have to look it up, and I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments um, if I forget to look it up. But yeah, there's female and male peppers. Want to throw this away? Sure. Okay. So we did that with two onions, three peppers, and four large potatoes. He's been spilled nice and so You can use that spoon to scoop it out. You can use that spoon that's sitting in there. Okay. Are your eyes watering? Yep. 
Mine are. Uh, I have glasses on too, though. Uh, Maybe that's protecting me. Welcome to the kitchen, little chef. <laughs> Even my eyes are waddling. They are, aren't they? <laughs> Everyone's crying because Mama has a headache. Yeah. Everyone loves Mama, and they're crying for me. <sighs> How'd you like using that chopper? I loved it. You did, huh? <laughs> Except for the onion. You loved it so much, you're crying. What spices have we put on so far? Do you remember? We have put on thyme. Thyme. Um, onion powder. Yep. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Now we're gonna put on garlic powder. Yep. All right. And then the last one I pulled out is what? Oregano leaves. Oregano. Oregano. That's hard to pronounce. Hard to pronounce. Oh, and we also poured in probably about two cups of chicken broth, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that one open? Oh, it open. Um, hold on. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, the we thing. had to open it. It yeah. was sealed still. I'm guessing this is kind of strong. Uh, you can smell it. It's like an Italian spice. Smell it. Oh, that's that smells like thyme. Yeah, they're similar. Some out my nose. <laughs> He's got like onion eyes. That's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up really well. Yep. And we're gonna pop the lid on and let this sit. Well, right on. And after it cooked on high for many hours, um, I went ahead and added a bunch of shredded cheddar. I didn't measure it. I just kind of eyeballed it, and obviously that's all melted in here now. And I'm going to mix up this everything chopped salad kit. And that is going to be dinner tonight. So thank you for coming along this week. Um, tomorrow is just going to be leftovers from this meal. And then we will start a new What's For Dinner video. So thanks for coming along. Drop a comment. Share some love. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button right down there. We would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye.